Hi everyone, this is Sarah from the Hiking Outdoor Family Channel. Today we're going to take you on a bike ride. We're going to be biking on the Junction and Breakwater Trail to Lewis. And then from Lewis, we're going to connect to the Gordon's Pond Trail and go back to where we started in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. We've been wanting to try a long bike ride for a long time and we've been building up with shorter rides. So what we're going to be doing is about five miles on the Junction Breakwater Trail. Then we've got about four miles to connect um, through Lewis to the Gordon Ponds Trail. And then we'll be traveling five miles on the Gordon's Pond Trail. And then we had an additional mile to get to the start of the Junction Breakwater Trail. And then we have an additional three miles to get from the Gordon's Pond parking lot back to where we started. That'll bring us to a total of 18 miles. We don't have any fancy bike equipment. Um, my husband and I both have mountain bikes that we got used off Craigslist. My son has like a beach cruiser style bike. Um, doesn't really matter what type of bike you have if you want to ride the junction and break water or Gordon's Pond Trail. Um, they're paved and part gravel. So a uh, cruiser style or a mountain bike or a racing bike, they can all navigate this just fine. I'm going to stop talking now and let you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the different views of the Salt Marsh, the views of Lewis, and then when we go through Cape Henlopen State Park on the Gordon's Pond Trail.